What do you guys think of these terrorist attacks that are going on? Crazy, right? It's tragic. You know, it's sad to think that we live in a world where individual liberties don't exist across the board. I mean, everybody's an advocate for uh, global unity, but uh, to be honest, I don't see how that ever happens, considering Oh, that. crap. Politics. Please don't ask me about this. Please don't ask me about this. I have no idea what's going on in the world. What I'm afraid to say is that uh, extremist is another word for lunatic. Yeah, especially when you are spreading your own craziness around in someone else's country and trying to spread your beliefs on them. <laughs> Skipped right over me. I don't have a newspaper in my hand, so maybe they'll forget I'm even here. Maybe I can make myself invisible if I concentrate hard enough. Mike. Crap. Yeah. What do you think? Well, for starters, I um, I think that I'm, oh, I'm out of coffee. <laughs> so I'm going to go get some. You guys want me to grab some for you guys? Sure. Okay, I'll just uh, go ahead and get some. You know, uh, if you look through history, specifically history of the Middle East, Islamic militants versus... Okay, politics, politics, come on. Gotta be something. Facebook, Facebook, yeah, of course. Uh, somebody had to post some kind of political video here somewhere. Uh, the Daily Show, okay. Uh, John Stewart. Perfect. Not just one football, 11 footballs. You're telling me 11 out of 12 footballs were deflated? Yeah. Supposedly they were checked, you know, two hours before the game, like they were supposed to be, but I don't know. If you ask me, something fishy's going on over there. What do you think about that? I know very few people go into comedy as an act of courage, mainly because it shouldn't have to be that. It shouldn't be taken as an act of courage. It should be taken as established law. But those guys at Hebido had that and they were killed for their cartoons. What? What are you talking about? Politics! Well, we're talking about the Super Bowl. Yeah, and where are our coffees? Where's your coffee? Uh, the Super Bowl, I thought we were talking about politics. I left my coffee inside. Hold on. He turns down a, a six-year contract at $24 million a year for a seven-year contract at $30 million a year because that's going to make his life that much better. Super Bowl XLIX will be performed at the University of Phoenix Stadium on February 1st, 2015 at 3.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Deal with that. What are you doing? I'm talking about the Super Bowl. No? No. Why do you keep going inside to Google your contributions to this conversation? What are you... Uh, well, I'm not. What are you guys talking about? Let me see the browser history on yourself. What? No. Then at least tell us where our coffees are. Well, I mean, I had them. You know, and there was uh, three. I was counting the specs on the side of the pot. Mike, Sorry. we all know where to go on the internet to find information if we want to. And if you don't want to talk about something because you don't know anything about it, then just say that. Okay. All right, so let's try this. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. You guys want to hear my Mad Lib? Yes. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh, it, the title is Talk Like You're a Pirate. <laughs> you can always pretend to be a bloodthirsty turd, <laughs> threatening everyone by waving your crappy sword in the air until you learn to fart like a pirate. You'll never be anally accepted as an authentic poop stain. <laughs> so here's what you do. Understanding six-year-olds. Cheers. <laughs>